You have been invited to stay with the McDuck family. But you have to earn your keep. Search for treasure and solve mysteries to fill the trophy room. Webby loves to research adventures. Maybe her room contains a mystery waiting to be solved. Webby's file on Della Duck is empty. No one knows what happened to her. Maybe there's more information in the McDuck family archives.
Welcome, Knowledge Seeker. I am the Archivist. Ah, you seek information on the mysterious Deladuck. Only the worthy may proceed with this quest. Let us begin the trials. Expertly done. Now come back to me. The second trial is meant to determine how well you think on your feet. Prepare to defend yourself. Very good. Now I need you to sort some books for me. See this chest to my left? Place these books on the correct shelves. And don't expect to get paid for this either. Knowledge is its own reward. Well done, you passed the trials. I will open the secret library for you. What you seek lies within. The note reads, Dear Scrooge, I've taken the spear of Selene. I'm sorry. Della. Isn't Selene the goddess of the moon? She lives on the island of Ithakwak.
This is the sword of Selim, not the spear. I protect the Spear of Poseidon. The Spear of Selene is in the next chamber over. You hear heavy stone gears grinding behind the walls. An ancient mechanism has been set in motion. Gotcha. Oh, wait. You're not Della. I am Selene, goddess of the moon. I wrote a prophecy on the door for my friend Della. The treasure she seeks is the chest over there. There it is. The Sphere of Selene. Oh, you said Spear, not Sphere? I don't have one of those. Perhaps you should head to Dismal Downs. Many secrets of the McDuck family lie there. A secret passage opens. Maybe there are more of them downstairs. This button doesn't seem to do anything.
Another passage has been opened. The Templar hallway has been opened. The crypt has been opened. Watch out! The legends of the demon dog were real. The crypt has been opened. This drawing looks like a rocket ship. Isn't there a rocket testing site nearby?
You found Della with Spear of Selene. Photo. The Spear of Selene is a rocket ship. Della Duck must be adventuring in outer space. You should return to the trophy room to drop off your treasure. A new mystery has been reported. Someone reported they heard two voices shouting in the amphitheater. Could one of them need help? Head into Duckburg and you'll see it by the water. Huh? You heard there were two people shouting? I don't know what that could be about, as I'm clearly the only one here. I'm Lena, by the way. Anyways, you should get out of here. Don't go snooping around in my secret room. Oops. Forget I said anything. You found Lena's journal. This is Lena's journal. It says she must steal Scrooge's number one dime to free herself of her aunt Magica Despel's shadow. Lena placed an amulet called the Hunter's Stone in the money bin in order to enact Devious Magica's plan. You should remove it before something bad happens.
Oh no! The hunter's stone has morphed into a money shark. The shark dropped a key. It looks like it matches a door back at that McDuck Manor. Good, it's safe with you. Now head to the foyer to confront Lena.
I'm sorry about this, I can't control her longer. Give me that dime. Fools. It was I, Magicka Dispel, all along. I've taken Scrooge's number one dime from you. And now I will lock him away forever. You dare come here to challenge me? Very well. Prepare to meet your doom. Face me. Fools. You can't harm me. H my shield. Curse you. Rise, my shadow army. Curse you, Scrooge. Curse you. You defeated Magicka Dispel. Duckburg is free from danger once again. The story is complete but the world is full of mysteries and treasure. So keep adventuring. So you think you can best the Sky Pirates? The most cruel, ruthless, and musically talented bandits to ever take to the air? Their leader, Don Carnage, will have something to sing about that. He always seems to have something to belt out. But be careful, it's a long way down. If you use the airstream behind a plane, it just might give you the lift you need.
Well, well, what have we here? Let the show begin. The denizens of Toth Ra address as mummies to honor their all-powerful pharaoh. For generations they have existed here, never seeing the outside world, and only rarely seeing the light of the sun. They labor to grow wheat as offerings to the Almighty to thread, so that he will bless them with the golden reward, allowing sunlight into the pyramid for a few minutes at a time. Those who enter the pharaoh's chamber never return.
Toth Ra accepted your offering. You may proceed. Toth Ra awakens to reclaim the treasures of the pyramid. You hear a heavy stone door moving. A secret passage has been opened. You hear a clicking sound behind the wall. You hear a heavy stone door moving. A secret passage has been opened. The highest peak in the world and the most prized of the seven summits, Mount Never Rest is one of the most perplexing peaks known to man. Said to be completely unclimbable, it has claimed the world's finest explorers. Naturally over the years this has turned Never Rest into a tourist trap. Follow the blue banners to find the path up the mountain. Follow the orange banners to visit the hotel. Can you reach the summit?
I've been trapped on this mountain for days, maybe weeks. There is no hope of reaching the summit by following the flags, I am certain of it now. Legend says that to reach the end, one must return to the beginning. The beginning for me would be the hotel, room 203. Perhaps that explains the strange draft from behind the bookshelves. It sounds preposterous, but it's the only thing I haven't tried. I only hope that I have enough supplies to make it back. When you wear the Icarus wings you can fly. Just jump while falling. Welcome to White Agony Plains. Here you'll find the roughest gold rush town that ever was. Local legend says this is the location of the Golden Lagoon of White Agony Plains. The lagoon is supposedly hidden deep in a mine, maybe even under layers of ice. Scrooge's arch rival Flintheart Glomgold is sure to be after it as well, so keep a sharp eye and a sharper pick. Prospector's Diary Day 5. Dear Diary. The Golden Lagoon is near. 
I can practically smell the gold. I hope I brought enough supplies. There's so much packed ice about. I've already gone through a whole crate of pickaxes clearing the way. Prospector's Diary Day 7. Dear Diary. I don't think I'm alone in this cave. I keep hearing some sort of growling. Oh no, it's a Kodiak bear. I gotta get out of here. No time to grab my supplies. I'll just leave them for the next set of adventurers. You're too late, underlings of Clan McDuck. The treasures of White Agony Plains are mine. <laughs> 